Hello. Hello. Hello from the United Kingdom. We came here for Jack's wedding. And we're gonna spend a couple of days hunting too. So since we know that you don't care about the wedding, we're gonna skip all that part right away and get it straight into the hunting. Who's shooting? Who should be shooting? Me. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> They rut all the time. So a muntjac can breed from seven months old and they can have fawns every seven months. Doesn't matter about winter, summer. We have to try and to manage the numbers, we've got to shoot the does. Now, here we go. Going across there, that's, that's yeah. that little buck we saw. And he's he's going, he can hear that, that's why he's coming across. Antlers have just shrunk to about that size. <laughs> He's a little buck. He's, I have seen him on the trail camera as well, but um, that's the funny thing with Munjak. You know, even when they're tailing a doe, you often find the little ones tailing the doe, not a big one. Um, and you'd think the dominant buck would be on the would be on the doe, but not the case. Um, you know, it got me excited. Yeah, I got you all excited, so that's the important thing. <laughs>
close but we couldn't see like far away so we're hunting this afternoon too let's see what happens See if anything comes out around here. It's not great with the sun, but hopefully once it comes down behind the trees, we'll be in the shade a bit more. But this is where I've seen him on the trail camera. He's down in this corner. A trophy one jacket. Six, six years old. This, I mean, that, that's old. And that's a good bug. But you kind of, you need to see a lot of moon jack before you start realizing what looks big. Is big or isn't big. The, the important things with you know what's considered a really good buck is width of spread of the antlers, length of the antlers, um, and then also just the, 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 the thickness of the antlers. Um, those are the important points. But for me, it's really it's about age. If you shoot an old one, one of my best ones I've shot. It's only got antlers about that long, but it's really, really, I mean, they're thick, thick, thick. And he's just old, really old buck. And I love him, you know, that to me is what a great buck is. It's just age. And this one is old. Yeah. Okay, now we're talking. That was a brilliant shot. Thank you. That was a great shot. This is my hour. This is my hour. I keep everything in the I think some of it was. That was so much fun. But that was like <laughs> shit. Do we shoot the fellow? I was like, no, no. We want him. Nice, nice rollback too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was getting dark. I hope he's the big one. He's a big body on it, yeah, well. so fingers crossed. Um, but oh, that, was so good, that was a good, that was a good shot. Right, 
Let's go up and have a look. <laughs> That's a beauty. Yeah. He's, I tell you what, he's, <laughs> he, um, he's a lovely bug. He's not the one. He's not the one, but he's he's a really nice bug there. Um, like in, they do in Germany. They put leaves yeah, in the, the last bite. Yeah. So he's, you can see he's broken it. Mm. They often break them. Um, but he's a pretty, but he's a lovely bug. I really um, like it. Same time. But he's he's a, you know, I mean look at the size of his neck. And you see him they're so tough, the skin on the neck. Good morning, day two, my turn, we are with Tom Marshall and in a different area and we're gonna try to find some Moonjack and see a different place. So morning looks perfect. Okay, so guys, this is Tom Marshall. Who are you? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he he managed a, a hunting state here in in the UK yeah. called Cumbri. Cumbri. We have known each other for quite a few years. And you've never visited until now. <laughs> I told you way in advance. Uh, yeah, a week. <laughs> a week. Yeah, they're really good. A good week. <laughs> so it's nice and looking forward to hunt together. Good times. Trigger is light. Yeah. See, it's lighter than you think it is. <laughs> you you went, oh, that's not that light. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was trying to correct the shot. Like, I leave it right and I poof. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the shot. <laughs> but the trigger was light. <laughs> not the first shot. Jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, cool. Busy for Muntjac, huh? Mm -hmm. Just everywhere. Yeah. 
you guys have to control really the number. No? So that's the typical cool pack that yeah, you would yeah. shoot? So, and there were two, and they were identical. They were the same as each other. So, so it's like one year old? Yeah. So venison, amazing, because it's young. And it, they're a, a browser, not a grazer. They graze a little bit, but generally browse. So they're picking all the good stuff from the forest, all the fruits, all the acorns, chestnuts, okay. berries. So, and it's quite a sweet meat. It's similar to Axis, Indian. So it's, it's that kind of cool. level, so it's good. Pretty dear though. Thank you. You are welcome. Why they are so underrated here in the UK? They do so much damage to flora and fauna, so in terms of forestry um, and conservation, there's a big push against them, trying to reduce numbers. But for clients visiting, they're, they're quite unique, because where else in the world can you go and see the numbers and have the opportunity? Um, and they're a lovely animal. As long as they're managed properly, then there's no reason why you, you can't have muntjac numbers and forestry and conservation work together. You can do it, it's possible. You just have to be balanced about it. Three, two, one, go! So here we have Tom Marshall for the attempt of skinning the new world record skin in a deer. That ripped. And it gave, nah. 2.15. We'll do another one. <laughs> All right, so our visit to the UK finished. It's over. Yeah. We need to come back. Thanks a lot, Hugh and Tom. Thank and you. And Jack and everyone. It has been a hell of a time. Mm -hmm. Who shot the biggest moon jack? You'll see. <laughs> Victoria <laughs> shot a bigger moon jack than <laughs> I. <laughs> so we'll definitely have to come back. And we deserve now a nice burger here. We are in the Lamp Inn. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Lovely pub. Supported by hunters, by hunters, so that'd be fun hunting. So fun. Pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Wish the footage was a bit more out of focus and with a little bit less of noise, but hunting Munjak is not easy. But at least I, I hope you were able to get the idea of the trip. So. Until next time.